as a scientist, I'm just going to provide the facts and let people draw their own conclusions. Here's the facts. With a lot of respiratory pathogens, they get transmitted through large water droplets, especially when we cough and sneeze. Now, the primary mode of transmission of sars coronavirus 2 is through aerosols. So there's three sizes of water droplets that can come out of your lungs. Large water droplets, so those are droplets that are over 60 microns. They have this trajectory under gravity, right, where they quickly fall to the ground. Then there's small water droplets. These are between 10 and 60 microns in diameter. And then there's what we call droplet nuclei, which are smaller than 10 microns. So we talk about aerosols, we're talking about these droplet nuclei and small water droplets. And if you want to visualize it, when you go out in the cold air in the middle of the winter and, you know, you talk about I can see my breath, that's the aerosols that you're breathing in. That's the aerosol condensing in the air. You see a big plume and it doesn't just drop to the ground. I, I wear glasses. So when we breathe on, you know, the lenses and fog them up, the moisture we're getting on there, that's, that's the aerosol. Scientific studies before this pandemic have shown that low cost masks, and when, so when we're talking about surgical masks and the cloth masks we're wearing, these low cost masks have pore sizes that range between 80 and 500 microns in size. So a huge range, right? The, the diameter of the virus is one micron. The largest possible small droplet that can comprise a typical aerosol and two viral particles is 62 microns in diameter. So I just want to put that in perspective. The smallest pore size is 80. So that means the largest droplet coated with the virus can pass right through. Now, air is always going to travel, you know, the easiest way out. So most of the air, the aerosol leaks out, uh, going up above our nose. The other leak points are right, right at the cheeks here. What, what people say is, okay, okay, there's leak points, but if I have a properly fitting mask, surely, you know, what you said can't, can't be true, right? So let, let me see if I can show you this. We've been told to, to use up to three masks. So I've got one, and I actually don't know if I'm going to be able to get all these on because one of the things that's interesting, actually, my right ear pin and now is permanently uh, deformed a little bit. It sticks out from my head more than the other one um, because of all the mask wearing. But So let me put on, here's two masks. Here's three. I'll put on a fourth one. I don't know if I'll get the fifth one on. Okay. So I got five masks. They're three-ply surgical masks, so 15 layers. I'm going to seal it around the mouth. If this is true, the aerosols have come through, then this should fog up. We'll see. Can you see how foggy? Yep. Now watch yep. this. I made a cross. Can you see my eyes through that cross? Yep. So there's so much moisture there that you can see. Look, look at that cross pattern. There's so much moisture there. So I'm not going to say anymore, right? All I'm saying, I'm just pointing to science. So this is crazy.